Gideon Katz, National Service Manager for CMA Dish Machines. Here we have the Model 180UC under counter high temperature dishwasher. When the dishwasher is received, you will find instructional information pre-attached to the machine. You will find at the top of the dishwasher cautionary labels that need to be followed for installation, wiring, and plumbing. You will find all of the installation information attached to the dish machine as well as at the bottom some instructional labels that need to be followed for both the heater and the cam timers and setting everything up in the machine. Here we have the model 180UC under counter dishwasher. This unit will require 140 degree water be supplied to the dishwasher. It's going to need unrestricted water line and it will require a two inch drain pipe or stand pipe located behind the dishwasher. The dishwasher does come with a drain hose already pre-attached and a electrical whip with conduit already pre-attached to the dishwasher. The machine will require 208 to 240 volts to be supplied to it which is a four wire configuration. The dishwasher also contains a drain pump for machines in locations that have to be pumped to drain, but if there is a floor drain or floor sink in the area of the dishwasher, it can be converted very easily to a gravity drain machine. Here we have the booster heater for the Model 180UC, which is a fully integrated booster heater unit located again at the bottom left hand side of the dishwasher. At the top, you will find the thermostat. The high limit switch is located on the back wall directly behind it. It will come with a blue wire disconnected that needs to be connected again after the dish machine has been filled with water. You have the element as well as the thermostat entrance point. This is the water supply line that supplies the booster heater with water directly from the water inlet valve and it's also connected to the pressure gauge located on the front panel of the dish machine, which has been removed. The machine will require four wires connected to it. Two hot lines for L1 and for L2, and a neutral along with a ground. The dishwasher is supplied with a six-foot pigtail enclosed in a flexible conduit. The unit must be hardwired with no exceptions. When installing the dishwasher, please remember to always follow all state and local plumbing and electrical codes. When the dishwasher is received, you will find two racks, one peg and one flat rack inside the dishwasher. And you will also find an inspection sheet. Please fill it out and send it back to CMA to register your machine for warranty. Located on the bottom right hand side of the dishwasher is where you will find the electrical connection control tray as well as the cam timer and directly behind the timer are both of the contactors. Underneath you will also find the optional chemical dispenser if it is ordered when you place your order for your dish machine. Please remember the dispenser cannot be added in the field. It must be factory installed. Here we have your chemical pumps. Blue is for rinse aid, red is for detergent. Then you have the water supply line connected to the water inlet valve, which is connected to the supply line coming to your dishwasher. And here we are at the back of the dishwasher, where you'll find located in the back center is the vacuum breaker, the rinse aid injection point. This particular unit again has a chemical dispenser, so it will come with the chemical injector and the rinse line to fully connect it. If there is no dispenser connected to the dishwasher, you will find a brass plug connected at this point, which needs to be removed to put in the chemical injection fitting for your wall mounted chemical dispenser. Here we have the conduit whip, which is fully attached to the dishwasher. You have two hot lines, L1 and L2. You have a neutral and a ground. Please remember, these must be hardwired to a dedicated circuit. You also have the drain hose fully connected to the dishwasher as well, 
which needs to be disconnected and connected to your drain line. Please remember, in the event you do have a floor drain near your dishwasher, the drain pump can be simply removed and can, the dishwasher can be converted to a gravity drain machine. Please remember, whenever a floor drain is located near the machine, gravity draining is always recommended. Located on the bottom right hand side of the dishwasher is the detergent chemical bulkhead fitting. Again, when you have a built in dispenser, it'll already be pre connected to your red detergent line. It will come with two chemical feed lines with two stiffeners, one for each chemical. Blue again is the rinse aid, red is the detergent. You will also find the temperature probe for the rinse and the temperature probe for the wash tank. Located on the bottom left hand side of the dishwasher, in the back, you will find the water inlet valve assembly and the valve valve has a built-in line strainer to catch any debris from going into the dishwasher.